Yo, yo, yo. This is the pilot of what is seems to be a debacle of a potential start of a new podcast. Not a good start. Not a good start. I like it. And of course, we have a special, special guest. And I say that because my son is extra like special. Is that my house? And that's love Joseph. Your house. Love your house. Which fits the premise of what we're trying to do here. Which is a... I'm the Peppy. <laughs> I'm the Peppy. The Dad Podcast. Dadcast. The Dadcast. We had a name. Bobby. I forgot the name of the podcast. Hey. We're just going to call it Poppy Podcast. Poppy Podcast. That's it. Yeah, we, we're gonna. It's gonna be named seven different things. The by Popcast. There we Pop go. Popcast, Dadcast, Poppycast. With yeah. my son here, because there's no, there's no privacy when you have children. None. None whatsoever. Can't even take a shit in private. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so go ahead. So go ahead, everybody. Uh, well, we're supposed to have four hosts. Instead, we have two because the other two um, are MIA. We have Freeman, who is whoa, MIA, whoa. Chris Freeman, and I just texted him and he didn't respond. So if my phone goes off, it's because he should be responding. But who knows? I'm telling you, he's going to text you at 1117, talking about he wants to go to the titty bar. His phone died. His phone ain't died. Nah, that's what he's going to say. He's my phone a, is dead. He's at a cornhole tournament. That was true. He did invite me. I didn't. I, I was cleaning, so I can't say I was going to a cornhole tournament because I can't. So... Hey, speaking of cleaning, that's uh, another downfall of having kids. No matter how much you clean, ain't nothing clean. Regardless of how much you clean, there's nothing that's really clean. Yeah. Yeah. Which, (sighs) that sigh is deep. It's a deep sigh because it literally is the truth. First of all, you have no possession of anything. Everything that you own is no longer yours. If they have, for example, my son has a bazillion toys and he does not play with them. Unless he's absolutely bored, and if I'm doing something, whatever I'm doing, he wants to play with it. My favorite. My iPad died. Can I use your phone, Dad? <laughs> my favorite. No. Well, my son luckily doesn't do that. He had his. He has his own personal iPad, but his Bro, thing. My it, kid got an iPad, got a Switch, the PS4. I mean, I can't afford a PS5. Another <laughs> downfall of being a dad. Can't afford shit. So, <laughs> the PS4 is right there. Uh, you got the TV with YouTube, got the bedroom TV with YouTube, got every app imaginable. Can I use your phone, Dad? Yeah, yeah you, you can't do anything. Uh, my son, when his iPad dies, it is the end of the world. If he's using it, he's crying, he's emotional because he is the dramatic king, and he, it just, it's no good for no one. And then we, ha- we tell him you need to charge it. And he still, and he plugs it in. And at first, when he would plug it back in, you know, iPad takes a little bit. When he would turn back on, he'd unplug it immediately, <laughs> thinking it was done. Like that's it. Just needed some juice to turn back on. And just then, need a little bit, Dad. That's it. That's it. Just a little bit of juice. Two percent. Good. But no, it needed way more juice. Full disclosure: If you guys hear us uh, sidetrack from this topic, we do have SummerSlam on in the background. So yes. you might hear some wrestling content as well as dad content. Well, we have 36 minutes until... Oh, did, did you hear the rumors? What well, rumors? it kind of confirmed. Uh, Michael Cole and Wade Barrett are moving to Monday Night Raw. Really? Yeah, but Michael Cole's still going to do SmackDown with Graves and the Irish guy, whatever his name is. So just Michael Cole gets more work. Yeah, pretty oh. much. Who did, who did they take Michael off Michael Cole's the GOAT, bro. I hate Michael Cole. He's the fucking goat. I hate Michael Cole. Say what you want about Michael Cole, but that man, he's the head of all the announcers. He's like one of the top executives in WWE, works with NXT talent. Like, the guy's the fucking goat. I don't think he's ever missed. I don't know. I don't think he's ever missed a show since he became an announcer. Who's that, you? Yeah, that's me. I got a small train car. Whose shoes you got on? I'm currently watching a video of... um, him playing with a train and by him, somebody by him that's on. Joseph. Joseph, yes, Joseph. I'm sorry. No. Forgot to mention names. I thought you did that already. I, I we didn't even introduce ourselves. Oh uh, yeah, maybe we should do that. <laughs> maybe we should. Again, sure this work. is the pilot that's scene. The so you wanna... that is not my iPad. Yeah. Can't even hear anything. I told you I went aside. Uh, that's my uh, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked, guys. 
Uh, I'm getting uh, taken away yeah. by a four-year-old with an iPad. He's four, right? Yeah, yeah he's four. Just turned four. He's yeah. a month. Look, just what we were talking about is iPads at 12%. Look at me. Go charge it, buddy. He's asking me all right. He he does not listen. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. So what's new, man? Not much. Well, are, are you going to introduce yourself? Oh. <laughs> I my wish name we were is, waiting for. Uh, my name is Misayo. Um, been around for, I don't know, since the dawn of time, I guess. <laughs> since I came out of my mother's womb. Um, I'm a dad of three. Two were, um, I have two stepdaughters, but I've been raising them since, you know, they're pretty much small. So I don't ever say they're my stepdaughters. They're, they're, they're my kids. They're my daughters. I have a biological son who's seven. He's a handful. And, um, I thought I was ready for it, you know, and, uh, you're never really ready. <laughs> never ready at all. No matter how much preparation you do, you're just never ready. It's always something new every day, especially with a boy. You always have something new to fix. Always, they're always getting into something. They're always breaking something. And so yeah, man. So you have you. Well, I know you. You have your your kids. My kids. Your sons, a handful. Mine is two handfuls. My wife of almost 10 years. How old is your son? Seven. So you were, well, you were, when, how long have you guys formally been married? No, we're not technically married. I thought you guys were married. No. We're engaged. <laughs> I, 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 it's to the point where it's like being yeah. married is just a piece of paper. Absolutely. So, like, I, I, I'm in no rush to get married. She's in no rush to get married, but we still consider each other husband and wife. Which, which is understandable. Ah. I, I completely relate, but I th I thought you guys were formally married. No. Yeah, so we don't have a studio. Um, we barely we're, got chairs. Yeah, we, we barely have chairs. I'm sitting we, on a kid's chair. IKEA, sponsor us, please. We need multiple sponsors. We need a house sponsor because the equipment we don't need. The equipment we're far, we're fine. <laughs> we're, we're good we on the equipment. We just need the location, 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 location. You know, what'd be cool. We buy like a old. Camper, yeah, and just used as a studio. Absolutely, you could leave it parked in my house. That's that, yeah. But I can't leave my equipment there. That's the issue. I don't like traveling. My this is my equipment, my everyday equipment. We could just get some cheapies, throw it there. Why would we put cheapies when I have really good stuff? Because you don't want to leave it there. We can't put a camper outside of your apartment complex. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's anyway. not about putting it anywhere. It's more about using it. So yeah, and we are going to use this equipment. So facts. So I was asking you questions, and we got sidetracked with multiple different things. So you guys are not formally married. No. Nope. You guys have been together for se seven years? Ten years? Ten years. Ten, almost ten years. Ten years. Your son's seven. Yeah. Fourth so year of football. Handful. He does football, does wrestling. Tried out baseball, didn't really like it. For some reason, he's into soccer now. I don't know. Hey, the money is in soccer. Oh, hell yeah. You see what Messi got? Well, Messi, you see what Mbappe got? Dude. Chris said he's on his way. By Bro, and Boppy got that billion dollar offer. I don't know if he took it or not. Did he take it? I believe so. I mean, I could look it up, but I don't feel like it. Billion dollars, dude. That's a lot of money. That's what, like seven hundred million after taxes. I mean, it depends. Dude, I retire after one season. It depends. I don't. You play. I, you play a half. Make sure it's guaranteed. Play a half ass season so you don't get hurt and fucking retire. I don't know. He didn't get that. Oh, if you retire, just, I'm sure there's different clauses. You don't make me look yeah, it up. But now. it's just for one season. But that's not bad. I mean, hey, being active is great. Um, yeah, I mean, especially in his situation, he has a ADHD, which a lot of, you know, parents deal with that nowadays. Um, so definitely being into sports is a great, great way for him to stay focused, is a great way for him to expend energy. And um, even, even after two-hour grueling football practice in the heat, he still comes home and has... More energy than fucking Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, what do I have to do? Yeah. Like, what do I have to do? Yeah, I, I can relate to that with uh, my child, who is a, a handful. Bro, but he, he's he's going to be old enough to play t-ball this year, right? Yeah. I mean, 
that's gonna be love. We'll f- we'll, we'll see, bro. Um, but that, they that? did win today. They you beat see the that half ass effort Giancarlo Stanton put in running to home plate from third. Well, he's running to he's playing the game to not get hurt. That's how the only way I can look at it. Or he's just too big for his own self. I don't know. I don't get it. But I, you're, I, you're getting paid a shit ton of money to play a game, play the game to the best of your abilities. He's always getting hurt, so that's probably why. I, again, I can't speak on it. I feel it's like everybody the Yankees sign from another team ends up getting big money and getting hurt consistently. <laughs> like every year he's hurt. There yeah. hasn't been a healthy season where he, you know, a healthy season when he was a Yankee. Has there? I mean, you would no, know as no, a Yankee fan. No, he when his first like, year. I feel like ever since he got his face broken, he hasn't been healthy. No, he won an MVP after that. He Did won he? an MVP in 2017. Did he? Got traded in 2018. That's when he was a Yankee. So he's had success. His first year, he was he was great. And he was great. He's always been great in the postseason. The issue with Giancarlo has been injuries. It's also the fact that him and Judge are two of the same players that play the same position virtually. You know you know, you know what's the worst part of being a dad? What? My son is an Eagles fan. Well, you allowed that to happen. I let him make a choice. No, I, I, I see. Here's the thing. See, but I, but now, hit, but but now that he's met Pacheco, now I think he's becoming a Chiefs fan because all he talks about is Patrick Mahomes now. I mean, he's still young, so yes, so, he hasn't decided yet. Now I gotta throw away his two Eagles jerseys and get him two Mahomes jerseys, maybe a Pacheco and a Mahomes. Throwing Travis Kelsey in there. I mean, or you could just get him Raider stuff because. You're a Raiders fan, and the Chiefs are the Raiders' rival. I don't. Bro. It could not be me. I don't care if who. Bro. I, I don't care if his uncle plays for whoever. He's gonna like the team that I want him to like, and not. That's one thing that. Bro, I don't even want to be a Raiders fan right now. <laughs> <laughs> With well, Jimmy G as a, as a quarterback, come on, man. We'll we'll leave that for Freeman when he that's gets here. Like, you 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 got rid of a Honda Civic to get a Honda Civic. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. Yeah. It's not like you got rid of a Honda Civic to get a fucking Maserati or Ferrari. No, you got rid of a Honda Civic to get a Honda Civic. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much. But, Jimmy, J- I-, I would say you upgraded in terms of Jimmy G is a winner, believe it or not. I mean, the guy has won Super Bowls, even if he was a backup. He's been to Super Bowls. He's lost. But he has that on his track record. He it, Derek Carr. Bro. Derek Carr has not won anything in his career. He, Put ha- up with he hasn't had a team to win anything. And with. that's no excuse, though. How does this become a sports co- podcast? Uh, because this is a dad podcast, and as you guys realize, we talk about everything. It's, this is the, the mind of a dad, the, the mind of a, of a guy. It goes everywhere. We can stay on topic, and then we just divert into something different. What's up? Dude, why you give me... Oh, you got a PS5? Yeah. Since when? <laughs> Since a long time. You can't say you're poor if you got a PS5. Oh, I'm poor. Because I, oh, because I, I, I you, my you PCs were huh? bar- You barter for it? No, no, no. I bought that. I Eric, bought that. Go play. Yeah, I bought that. I, I bought it secondhand. I bought it like a month after they came Second out. hand's better than no hand. I, I mean, yeah. I, I, I think I paid a little bit much, too much for it, but at the time. Hold but, on. Uh, and, and I only got the game. I only got the PS5 to play like one or two games, but. That's on the floor because <laughs> I got to keep getting up. <laughs> uh, I was looking at baseball standings. Yankees are three and a half out of a wild card spot. That's Which beautiful. means Red Sox are two and a half? No. Four still. out. They're four out. The oh, Red Yankees. Sox has lost three in a row. Fucking Red Sox. I mean, but at least the Red Sox know who they are. They know their identity. They know that they're not in it to win it this Baby, year. Maybe we're losers. No, no, they're not losers because I hey, I hate Boston, but I respect the hell out of Alex. Oh Cole. yeah. Oh yeah. He is one of the best managers in all of baseball. And the Red Sox just need some young guys to come through and then they're gonna be all right. One thing I say about the Red Sox, I am a Red Sox fan, by the way. We always have a strong farm system. But we always seem to get rid of our gu- our good guys. Yeah. And they then we so. get them back when they suck. They make some dumb moves. They, you guys were supposed to be Toronto. And Bro, you it's like lost. just just pay somebody. Mookie Betts just wanted to get paid. And he would have took less than what he, he got in. Yeah. Because I've seen his little his podcast. He and, then, and then he went to the Dodgers and won a World Series. Mickey Mouse, but whatever. Come on, man. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse what? Mickey Mouse World Series. 
uh, COVID. The versus... Phillies are in the playoffs, technically. Are they? Yeah, they're 51, 59. Oh, yeah. They're the Check one up. Yeah. Fucking Phillies, bro. The Marlins are right there. The Cubs are right there. They should have sold. The Diamondbacks fell off that bad? Yo. Dang. Speaking of sports, yep. one bad thing about uh, having multiple children is you lose track of time and you lose track of dates. And um, I was this close to getting tickets to the uh, Eagles practice at the link yesterday. I mean, tomorrow. That shit makes me want to vomit. Bro, but there are 10 bucks. I don't give a fuck. Free parking, 10 bucks. You go have an autograph session. Get my son's Jalen Hurts Super Bowl jersey signed. <laughs> and um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go get him. I'm going to go get him. And then when I realized what the date was, it's my daughter's birthday. So I couldn't I couldn't get them. <laughs> this lose, man you lose forgot track of time. his daughter's birthday. Bro, you just lose track of time, man. In my defense, my kids don't even know my birthday, so. They'll say happy birthday to their friend's dog before they say happy birthday to me. That lack of appreciation for your, for your, for your, from your kids, I guess I should say. The lack of appreciation. I guess that's what I would look at. They so, mean well. So back, let's, let's see if we go full circle. Uh, speaking of that, my kid's calling me. So um, I, I was trying to circle back to you and your kids. Uh-huh. Because you said your daughter. Yep. Uh, which one? Bree. Turns thirteen tomorrow, and, and then Layla turns sixteen on Monday. Oh, so their birthdays are back to back, back to back. So yeah, I'm glad you live closer now. Me too. Maple shade's a hike. It is. It's nice out there, but one is expensive, and two, it's it's far. Hike. It's a lonely, lonely place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Imagine living on a farm. Yeah. Hey, at least you have space. And well, I gotta drive like I gotta drive like twenty minutes to get anywhere. Yeah, it'd be you know. The beauty of Buna and the, the downfall of Buna. And then, the, like, you have Walmarts because everyone, you know. I but every Walmart's, Walmart's 25 minutes away. Yeah, either Walmart you go to is 20 minutes away. Yeah, so, so it don't matter which one I go to. Yeah. I just prefer to go to one in Violent because it's just natural to go to Violent for everything. Yeah. And you're so, you have been grew up here, so. Bro, I'm closer to the Target in Sewell than I am the Target in Millville. Really? And you still go to the one in Millville? Time-wise, yeah. But I still go to the one in Millville because it's second nature. Yeah, it's natural to go that way. It doesn't feel as far because you just know where exactly, you're going. exactly. Yeah, it's like going to Defer Mall. It's not that far. It's like That's 40, far. I ain't it's like it forty-five like, minute drive. Yeah, man. I drive. It's I, not that far. I got to go to Mount Laurel once a month, and I'm like, damn. I was like, Defer was a trip. Christiana Mall in Delaware is the same distance, and it's like, man, that's far as hell. Yeah. It's a whole other state. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to go to uh, to Delaware for something. I actually, you know what? It's, I think it's, it's in PA or Delaware. I want to go to Micro Center to get some computer pieces. Micro, but you know, wait, we talk hold on. Micro Center. What the fuck is a Micro Center? It's a computer place. It's a computer parts. Huh. Take my brother. I mean, I could. Be down for that. I, I mean, I could. When he'll probably, I, he'll probably jerk off in there. Like, when, <laughs> when I sell my that graphics card that I was telling him about, and. Yeah. If anybody wants to buy a graphics card, baby, I got one for sale. So tell us about you, man. <laughs> Enough what? about me. What about you? No, what about me? What about me, man? What about me? Uh, as what you, about Raven? My, that shit? It, yeah. Um, so so what about me? Uh, I have a four-year-old. Uh, Joseph. Joseph that everyone has been introduced to at three seconds into this podcast. Yo, but listen, man. One thing about your kid, bro. He wouldn't know who you are from a can can of paint. He comes up to you like you're an uncle and gives you a hug right away. For the most part, yeah. I like, mean, he's a little bit too nice. He, he's such a good kid, though. I think he's a little bit too nice sometimes. It's kind of frustrating. We'll walk outside. He, hey, bro. And he's <laughs> random dude. Hey, bro. And the guy, you know, whoever it is, is waving at them. What's up, bro? Like, he thinks everybody's a, a friend. So I, I want him to be kind of like me, which is, you know, open and and have a personality but have you all up. and not going but you know it, it's a crude world out there and i seen the video about that you know about fa- i sent it to you guys where you know how fathers most fathers raise their kids as opposed to mothers and it's not it's not a competition it's not it's, it's really not kids need both their parents for different things however most fathers raise their kids with the reality of life which is i was thinking about this and I was looking at everyone that was supposed to be in this group, in this podcast. I grew up with a mother and a father there. You 
on the other hand, grew up <laughs> with just a mother. And well, you, you, well, 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 my, my your, stepdad was there. Your stepdad um, was there. See, I don't know. Him, him and my mom story. got married when I was like seven, I think, seven or eight. But he was always working, bro. Like, yeah. From like eight in the morning to like 10 30 at night, just be at work. Yeah. And then Saturdays and Sundays, so at the flea market. Yeah. So he's working there all day. And then when he's not working, he's at church. So. So. Did you learn from your stepdad? Hell yeah. Everything I learned from him. So you, so you still have that. Learn, learn how to work on a car, learn how to play instruments, learn how to swing a bat, catch a ball. So you had someone there. Yeah. So you didn't have no one there. So these, these are my, like, that was my, my mindset. Nature I mean, it, versus it, nurture, wasn't, it, it wasn't like he was there, like, as a, you know, teaching me life lessons. You know what I mean? Like, a father figure, like, teaching me life lessons. As far as, like, if this shit happens, you know, this is what you do. This is what you can learn from it, blah, blah, blah. But he was there. Like, you know, he taught me how to catch, taught me how to swing a bat, taught me how to play instruments, taught me how to, taught me how to, um, you know, work on cars and stuff like that. You know, taught me the basics, you know, did, yeah. did, did, did the, the, the basic dad shit. Just enough. Yeah, just enough. <laughs> yeah. But I'm grateful for him because he, to this day, man, he still treats my mom so good. And, um, uh, you know, they're going on like, what, like almost 30 years together now? That's good. You know what I mean? So, round of applause for that. Hey, shout out to Sugar, man. That's his nickname, Sugar. Sugar Daddy. <laughs> sugar Poppy, because we said to call him Poppy. No, but. Uh, I call him Sugar. But. I never once called him Dad or anything. Did, and was that just. It was just my choice. Your it, choice. It, it was never like forced on. You know, my mom let it be known, like, I have a dad. He's my stepdad. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And your relationship with your dad? What about it? There, non-existent? I mean, when Every I see so him, often. I say hi. You know, I'm still respectful. I say hi. I, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I do my due diligence. Sensitive, <laughs> sensitive <laughs> topics on day I, one. I, I do my due diligence. You know, I say <laughs> hi and whatnot. But, you know, as far as, you know, yeah. don't look for him or nothing, you know, yeah. you don't. I've had the same number for like what fifteen years now, twenty years almost, and it takes two. Exactly. Basically, that's what he's trying to say. It takes hey, two. Hey, change yeah, your so, underwear. So yeah, he finally changed because it was a long story. We're gonna, we're not gonna go into that. But no, the, up, the reason I just say that because I was thinking about <clears throat> myself and me growing up. I always had a dad there, and like, and you mentioned Yo, your dad's the greatest, bro. Uh, and thank you, thank your you. Your dad's the greatest. My my dad. Your dad's he, an OG. OG triple OG. Everybody OG. knows me knows my dad. And they know how he is. Yeah. And he didn't sit there. And he would never, like, he wouldn't teach me things, like, life lessons like that. I don't, I, at least I don't recall. Like, he would teach me things, but it wasn't like you would, like, you're mentioning it, like, you were trying to portray it. Like. He was I, just there. He was just there. And I think, it wasn't that he wasn't just there. He, he, he would say stuff, but I look at it as my dad didn't have a dad growing up. So, you know, what he did with us, for me and my sister, was. You know, him learning himself, yeah. you know, because he had no one to essentially relate to in terms of like how it is raising kids. And, and I he, think he did a really good job. He raised two dope ass kids. So thank you. Thank you. But, you know, we Shout try out to pops. We, we try our best. Um, uh, and I, I, I try to learn from my both my parents. Obviously, uh, I was very disciplined as a child. And growing up, you look at it as, oh, you know, why is what? it this? One thing I loved about your parents, bro, is that whether we were boys for a day or 10 years, they treated all your friends the same. Like, yeah. your friends always had a plate of food. Absolutely. Always had a spot at the table. Absolutely. Was always invited. Absolutely. Like, your parents are just dope. Always getting yelled at, just like, we oh, got yelled yeah. at. Hell yeah. <laughs> Everything. Your everyone got treated the me, same. Your mom yelled at me God knows how many times for no reason. For no reason. Just because I was associated with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty by association. <laughs> As my son leaves the door open for the fifty seventh time. So yeah, yeah, no. Um I have a four year old, Joseph, uh going back to me. But yeah, yeah no, I have Joseph, four years, four years old. He's a COVID baby. Um born Shout out COVID. Born in July. Yeah, shout out COVID. <laughs> what a time that was, dude. What a time that was. <laughs> Fucking weird times. It was tough. It was it was a struggle. Bro, don't step on my phone. Um, he was born in July of nineteen. 
So it was right around that time where July of nineteen of two thousand nineteen, uh, right before, right before, like, right before shit hit the right fan. right before shit hit the fan. I mean, he was like, because so, it was bud. March when they were like, go home, you know, this COVID stuff. We're gonna send everybody home, and I never got sent home. I was essential, quote end quote. You were working at the post office. Yeah, essential. Yeah. I don't know how fucking getting mails essential, but whatever. Yeah, well, you, your bills, them bills are essential. Fuck them bills. Oh. Well, was nobody paying them bills. Nobody had money. <laughs> this is true. I was. Well, they had the Biden bucks. It was the Obama bucks. Nah, it was a uh, Trump checks. Was it Trump? It was, it was Trump. It was Trump. Checks. It was Trump. Shout out to Trump. And then it went to Biden bucks. But by the time it became Biden bucks, it was over. Yeah, we're not gonna get into politics and that because that's a whole new. Yeah, different fuck Joe Biden. <clears throat> <clears throat> so fuck Trump too. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth Green Party. Nah, I like Trump, man. I, Trump I is like cool. Trump. I like Trump. I like Trump. What he stands for. I mean, I don't know them Trump personally, so I can't say anything. I know his delivery is all horrible. Yeah, but Trump just don't give a fuck. He don't. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> that means like, I got so much money, I don't give a shit. The same person wants this. Three, four indictments, still running for president. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry he's going against him. But yet, no. Um, no he's getting reelected. Maybe we'll see. And we'll see gas prices go back down to a dollar. <laughs> I wish, bro. I wish. I wish. I mean, oh my God. I will cry at the gas pump. That shit goes down for a dollar. Oh. Fill her up. $23. Bro. Fill her up. Probably be $10, $15 for me. It would never go back that now. That yeah. Would never go back. Good times. I think when I started driving, gas was like $1.50 or something. It was, like $1. It $1. was like $1.80. Something like that. It was like $1.80. And it, it, I, my dad always at the for, for the longest was always like, give me five regular, give me five regular, no <laughs> Bro, matter what the my, gas was. My mom used to give me because we used to have to pay for school lunch, so she yeah. used to give me ten dollars a week. My lunch was only like forty cents, so what I would do is I'll put five dollars in my bank in my lunch account, mm-hmm. and then the other five dollars of gas. <laughs> then the next week I put ten dollars in gas because that five bucks will last me like two weeks. Yeah, so I'll put. Ten dollars in gas next week, <laughs> and then the following week, do it again. Five dollars in gas, five dollars in my lunch account. Bro, when you ain't have no job and you had a car, you needed that routine. What you should have done is charge people to pick them up for school. And now you think about it, I always had bitches in the car though. This man, this man. I always had a fly ass girl in my car. This man. So I wasn't really complaining. Uh, yeah, it was it was tough. Um, it was definitely tough. It was an adjustment and a half being a first time father, being so far away. The time that I live in Marlton, so that was f- almost an hour away. Um, Bro, I'm working from home and working from home and dealing with a, a newborn essentially, and it, it, and dealing with newborn being newborn not only and COVID and he has he has a heart condition. He's got pulmonary steno- pulmonary stenosis. Where one of his vol- valves isn't fully open. Can't tell. No, you can't. Which he has. A, he actually has a doctor appointment coming up at five and that's Friday. So we're gonna learn more about that. Ball of fucking energy. Ball of energy. Never turned blue. Never had an issue breathing. My kid, when he was born, bro, he uh, he wasn't breathing. He wasn't breathing when he was born. So, so they had to like vacuum him out and his umbilical cords like wrapped around his neck and shit. Oh, he's, shit. he's normal though. Yeah. He doesn't stop. No. That's essentially my story. As Summer Sam is getting ready to, to commence. So we have about three minutes left in this podcast of the, the pilot. Pilot episode. I don't know if this is going to air or not. I, I'm sure, I, we're we're going to have to do a lot of editing. You're going to have to do I'm I don't edit. You're the editor here. So I'm not editing shit. I'm not getting paid for this. This is a hobby. You're not getting paid. You don't get paid for what you do. I mean, you do, True. but you don't. No, I don't. I'm just doing it for exposure right now. Yeah. Once I get enough exposure, then I'll uh, I'll start charging. Yeah. But I'm not charging the homies, though. So. Well, you can't charge me. This is our shit. Nah, but I'm talking about like the homies that do stuff for me. Uh, and yeah. my boy Pat, he's yeah. been training my kid off season, off yeah. football. Yeah. If he calls me up like, yo, I need you to come record this kid I'm coaching, you know, got a game at blah, blah, I'm there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eye for an eye. That's dope. But if you just a Joe Schmo, I'm charging ass. I make videos. Holla at me. All types. All types of videos. From PG to rated R. YouTube, OnlyFans, All Pornhub, types. anything you need, I got you. You name it, he's got you. Got you. Yeah, man. So, Freeman wasn't here. Chris Freeman. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. 
We're going to throw out the government out there. Yeah. Mr. Jerry Curl. He he said he's on his way or something of that nature. He ain't coming. Um, He'll show up at 11, like 11.01, bro. When Roman Reigns' hand gets raised because Jimmy Uso fucked over Jay Uso. That's when Chris is going to knock on your door. Yo, bro, I'm outside. What time do you work tomorrow? It's Sunday. Oh, you're off tomorrow. Yeah. I'm the only one that works tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sucks to be you. That is what it is. I deal with it. We you might, got we, off. We, you got off what? Like Thursday and Friday or Friday, something? Friday, Saturday. That's dope. So it's all right. I'd rather have Sunday money off. What do you think about it? Sunday is the beginning of the week, technically. I just want Sundays off because I, I football. I get done at two thirty, nonetheless. But I'd rather have Sunday. Look at this. Oh, and Monday is the beginning of the week, so I, I deal yeah, with a Friday and Saturday. I don't really do anything on Friday. Everybody works Friday. I get done early, and then Saturday. Friday, I uh. It's optional overtime for me, so you know I go in when I can. If I don't can't go in, then I don't go in. I feel like overtime's a scam. You don't really get paid I as much. Them. I you don't, but you know what? That extra money comes in clutch when you got kids, especially school yeah. shopping coming up. No. We still haven't started. Oh, uh, he starts school. The older the kids get, the more expensive they get, because you know now it's Jordans and this and that. <sighs> And you ain't buying no hundred dollar pair of sneakers no more. No, we're we're gonna get ready to wrap this one up because my son is. Uh, hey, listen, needy. we gotta do this again sometime. We might. I, I'm thinking about maybe a post SummerSlam cast. If Chris actually don't show up, we do a post. You know, Chris ain't showing up. A nice little twenty minute recap of the SummerSlam. What Chris ain't showing up. I think he is. He ain't showing up. You wanna put a bet? How much you wanna bet? One dollar. We're broke. Dollar. One dollar. You take cash out? I take cash out. You take cash out because I ain't got I shit. I take cash out. I got four quarters. You know what? We'll just do a gentleman's bet. What that is? We can do. Um, I can't do push-ups or anything because I'm fat as fuck. <laughs> so that's out of the question. <laughs> I don't know. We'll think of something. Just just a bet. Yeah, it, well, it's 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 an ego bet. Yeah, so it's an ego I, bet. I told you so or he told me yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There so, you go. yeah, we're about to wrap this up. We're about to hit the 40-minute mark. We'll edit this, see how this finishes up. <laughs> this 40-minute podcast is going to go down to like 15 minutes after all the interruptions. After all the interruptions <laughs> and sidebars that we had. I mean, a 15-minute podcast. <laughs> no, but it was fun, man. We definitely yeah. definitely got to do it again. And, you know, the premise of this podcast is to give other fathers, single fathers, interrelationship fathers... Bro, and fathers, and like, like the fathers. dope, the dope part about this podcast is we're all in different stages of fatherhood. Like, absolutely, you are work from home. You got your kid all the time, mm -hmm. so you got to juggle, you know, taking care of your kid on top of working, and then you got free bird who you know single dad, baby mama drama, baby mama drama. We'll get into that in another episode if he wants to. Um, when he shows up, yeah. So, you know, you got that one. Then you got me, who's you know. Me and my girl together, I'm raising two stepdaughters who I consider my own. Plus, I got my own kid. and Coach dad, stepdad, you know, coaching, dad, work dad. Working. Um, man, you got Charlie if he ever shows up and, uh, you know, he breaks the news to people. Soon to be, Soon hopefully, to be dad. dad. Hopefully, crossing our fingers. You know, they have a huffy. At the young age of 50. Yeah, <laughs> he's like he's like seventy two right now. <laughs> nah, man. Um, shout out to Charlie. Yeah, shout man. out to Charlie, man. Charlie's a great guy. Charlie deserves it. Him and Melly deserve it. They've yeah. been trying for a while. Hopefully, and um, you know we're we're all hoping for the best. We're all hoping for a healthy and relatively easy pregnancy. Yes, sir. And um, you know, a healthy baby at the end of it. Absolutely. And they live their perfect little happy little, ever after. Latino lives. Oh, Charlie's white. Yeah. He lives on Laurel Street. Well, Laurel Street's kind of Hispanic. It is kind of Hispanic, but he's white. He, goes to soccer. he has soccer. He has season tickets for soccer games. And it's MLS. It's not like, you know, Bridgeton soccer, yeah. international, going to Mexico. No, he's yeah. watching Americanos play soccer. Yeah. Fucking Charlie. Fucking Charlie. But yeah, Fucking man, this was fun. Uh, we'll definitely do it again. And yeah, let's hit the outro. Yeet. For everybody here. I'm one of your hosts, Bebe. That's me. We out of here.